What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! Okay, we're coming back to you two. Yes, indeed. You two fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. This is a request from Jason Cart, and this is actually one of Jason Cart's three prioritized requests for the month of January for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So there you go, Jason. I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, Jason wanted to see me react to this song by U2 called Sunday Bloody Sunday. Now, have I heard the song before? Yes, I have heard the song before, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. One it's been a long time since I've heard it. I have not heard it in, God, it's been, I know it's been years. It might be decades. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I know it's been a long time. The The main melodic line is in my head, kind of, sort of. I, I, I remember bits and pieces. But uh, nonetheless, I have heard the song before. So I just, I want to be honest with you guys. I want to be straight up with you guys. I have heard the song before. It's been a while, <laughs> but I do remember it, sort of. Now, this is a live performance. Now, I was under the impression. Now, I'm, I'm not the biggest U2 fan, so and I, I don't follow all their history and their lore. So, I am, I, I'm like 50-50 on this. I heard stories that they did not perform this song live after I forgot what year it was it was a certain year it got to a certain year I think it was 86 or 87 or something like that and, and they got to a certain point and they said they were not going to perform this song anymore out of respect for something but I don't know what the something is like, like I said I don't follow the lore on this so I, I don't know but I, I heard tales that they put the kibosh on this song for a live performance. So, seeing a live performance here, and from what I understand, this is from 2017. So, this isn't too long ago. So, maybe they changed their stance on it. Maybe this just was just like a special one-time thing for this, for this particular concert. I don't know. Maybe you guys in the comments could fill me in on this and tell me what's going on. But... I just want to be straight with you guys and let you know I have heard the song before. I don't remember it a whole lot because it's been a long time. Uh, but nonetheless, I have heard it, so I will not be reacting to the song so much as I will be reacting to the live performance. So please keep that in mind, okay? Uh, this was posted by Fantai, and the video has 2.1 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. You 2 Sunday Bloody Sunday from Dublin in 2017. Looks like July 22nd, 2017 u2gigs.com or dash com in this case <laughs> all right let's do this all right boy let's do this <laughs>
don't think I have ever seen this before. Um, to the best of my knowledge, all the concerts I've been to. Okay. Whenever you go to a concert, it's not like there's nothing happening before the show actually starts. You know, they, they, they'll always play some music. They'll always play a couple of bands playing. Or they'll have opening acts or whatever. But in between, while they're setting up, you know, the next act, they'll always have music playing. And I don't know if you two had an opening act um, here. It doesn't look like they did. But I don't think I've ever seen, in all the concerts I've ever gone to, I don't think I have ever seen the crowd singing along to a song that is playing in the background while waiting for the band to appear. I, I think this is the first time I've ever seen that. That is pretty cool. Um, kind of gives me a heads up to what to expect when the, the, the show actually starts. I mean, if they're singing along like the band is already out there playing, and they're all, and they're singing a lot, but through a recording. Can you imagine how loud this crowd's gonna be when the band's actually out there and the crowd is singing along with the actual band? <whistles> I can only imagine. I guess I hope we hopefully we'll get a chance to see that. So they have them set up, it looks like, I wish I could zoom out. <laughs> it looks like they have them set up on a performance platform out in the middle of the crowd, which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So the concert's going to start. Looks like we're kicking into the song here. Let's see what happens. <laughs>
I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of blown away. It, it, it's not, and here's the thing. It has absolutely nothing to do with what you two's doing. Nothing to do with them whatsoever. I am, I'm kind of blown away by this crowd. They are singing louder than, than Bono is. Like I, I can hear the crowd at times blow, ba blow Bono out as far as volume goes. I mean, and the thing is, Bono's singing into a mic being projected through the PA, through the, through the front of house, through, through FOH. And the crowd is singing louder than him. This is some crowd, boy. Let me tell you. <laughs> you don't hear that very often. Even when bands have a crowd that is singing along super loud, usually you can still hear the singer over the crowd. And for the most part, I do hear Bono louder than the crowd, but there are there have been points where the crowd has... I mean, you can hear Bono, you can hear him, but he is being overpowered by the crowd. That's impressive. This is some crowd, let me tell you. Um, let's keep going here. This is... I, I think I know why Jason wanted me to react to this. I, I think I do. It has nothing to do with what you two's doing. I think... I think Jason wanted me to react to this because of the crowd. And it's, I, I gotta tell you, man, I am, I am impressed. I am impressed. Impressive. Really impressive. Um, that is, <laughs> I know I said it before, but man, that is some crowd. That is some crowd. Um, let me gather my thoughts on this. Um, I have a theory as to why Jason wanted me to react to this. And I, I think I get it. I think I get it. And I'm going to have to base my score accordingly. So, um, let me gather my thoughts and I'll see you in the review. We'll talk about it.
Well, there you go, folks. That was U2 with Sunday Bloody Sunday, a live performance of Sunday's Bloody Sunday, I should say. Uh, this was a request from Jason Cart, and this was actually one of Jason Cart's three prioritized requests for the month of January for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, here you go, Jason. Hope you enjoyed the show, man. Um, I thought about it, and I, I'm going to approach this from the standpoint of, I think... I think I know what Jason wanted me to react to. I, I think I did. I, th I think I understand why he picked this particular video. And, and I'll explain everything, I, I promise. I'll explain how I came to that conclusion and why I'm giving it the score I'm giving it based on that conclusion. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I am going to give that an 8.4. Yep, 8.4. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, um, I gave this some thought. I, I did. And I, I, the main reason I had to give this some thought was I wasn't quite sure why Jason picked this particular video. The audio quality was not very good. Coming from the band standpoint, I mean, you could hear the band, but you couldn't really hear them clearly. Um, as far as seeing the band, it was really far away. It wasn't pro shot. It was, it was an amateur shot video. The audio quality on this was not very good. Let's be honest here, okay? You, you, you could hear the band, but they weren't really coming through very clearly. So, I don't think he wanted me to react to the song itself, which is good because I've already heard it. Um, and as far as seeing the band and watching what they're doing, this wasn't pro shot. It, it was very amateur shot. It was either on a phone or... I might guess it was shot on, an, on a phone of some sort. So, I, I, I'm guessing it wasn't to see what the band was doing necessarily. I think Jason picked this video for one reason and one reason only. And I think that was because of the crowd. Um, I still have to take what I saw and heard into account, obviously, but seeing that I have a feeling Joseph, Jason wanted me to focus on the crowd, I'm gonna put most of my attention on the crowd. So please keep that in mind when I'm giving the score of 8.4. Now, let's talk about the band, okay? Let's talk about the song. Um, it was pretty much exactly what I remember. I mean, I started hearing, when, when, the, when the drum part kicked in, when the, when the drummer kicked in, I was like, okay, I remember this feel. And then when the edge came out and started playing the, the melodic line, I was like, okay, yes, it is all coming back to me. Uh, how the song goes, how the song feels. So yes, it, it all does sound familiar. So it did all come back to me, which is a good thing. Um, so really, I, I can't really grade the song. I, I really can't because it, I have heard it before. And like I said, when he started playing, it all came flooding back. So song for the, the scoring the song is completely out of the picture. Um, as far as stage presence and stage energy, it was actually really good. Um, you should expect that though from the first song because you want to, you want to start your show off with a bang and if you just come on stage, you just kind of stand there and you don't really do anything, well, that's going to set the mood and tone for the whole show. If you go out and you're moving and you have energy and you have life and you have intensity in what you do, that's going to set the mood and tone for the entire concert as well. And I do feel, in particular, Bono and, and The Edge, I, I do feel in particular between those two, they had some really good stage presence. They really did. Bono moving around. Edge was moving around too. He was moving. He was kind of moving like the whole forward and back thing. But uh, I mean, it's still moving in motion. I mean, could he have done more? Yeah, he probably could have done more. But look, he was doing what he had to do. He was getting the and I and what how he was moving was very conducive to the song. He kind of had that marching style, you know, movement when he was walking. So that was cool. It was cool. Um, but really, the score I'm giving the 8.4 is really about the crowd. Um. Because I have a feeling that's what Jason really wanted me to see and hear. That crowd was impressive. I am not going to lie. Uh, it sounded really good. Hearing that, even before the show started, they were singing along loudly to the background music. The ambient music that was being played. You know, to entertain the crowd while, you know, the band was coming on stage or waiting for the band to come on stage. The crowd was singing along to that song so loudly. It was it was impressive. I don't think I've ever seen that before, ever. In all my times of going to shows, I think that is the first time I've ever seen that. Um, when, the, when, the, when the band came out, 
and they actually started playing the song. I, I said this during the during the re, during the reaction. There were points. Now this wasn't consistent, but there were points in the song where I could hear Bono singing, but like here was Bono, right? And for the most part, here was the crowd right underneath them. But there were points. There were a few points in the song where here was Bono and here was the crowd. I kid you not. There were times where I could actually hear the crowd over and louder than Bono. And that, considering the fact that Bono's voice is being pumped through FOH, I mean, that's impressive. That is not easy to accomplish. So kudos to that crowd. Uh, no, I, I did enjoy this. This was fun to watch. Uh, it was a great job by the band, yes. But more importantly, it was a great job by the crowd. Really helping to uh, show their presence, show their respect, and show their support for you two. Now, that was really cool to see. It was really cool to see. It was a great job done by all. And that is why it's getting the 8.4. So, 8.4, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show, and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.